Hi, my name is Augustinus Christiadi, and I'm going to talk about our paper titled Being Patient Even Just a Bit Fixes Overconfidence in Relu Networks. This is a joint work between me, Matthias Hein, and Philip Hennig, and we are from the University of Tübingen, Germany. So we will talk about key points in our paper first before we go in more detail. So we know that uncertainty quantification is important in decision making, like in self driving vehicles, let's say. But the problem here is that the usual network architecture, which is really networks, that is being used to make prediction in this problem is asymptotically overconfident, meaning that far away from the training data, real network achieve confidence close to one, which is obviously wrong. And we argue that this is actually because of the point estimation that is being used to train the network. And by moving away from this point estimation towards more structure using a Gaussian distribution, approximation offered weight will mitigate this issue. And furthermore, we also show that the, um, a sufficient condition for this mitigation property to happen is by applying the Gaussian approximation only at the last layer. Let's say using Bayesian method like Laplace approximation. So these figures illustrate this issue. In figure A, we have point estimated real network and it achieved confidence close to one, even far away from the training data. But if we apply last layer Laplace approximation on the same network, we achieve confidence close to 0 0.5 instead far away from the training data. So this gives us some illustration on what kind of result that we will have if we have a Gaussian approximation instead. Okay, let's talk about the setting first. So this is based on the analysis of Hein et al. from last year paper. So suppose we have a binary classification network F parameterized by theta uh, and it used ReLU activation functions. So we call this ReLU network and it yields a piecewise affine function over the input space, meaning that we have a partition over the input space. And at each region, the so-called linear region of the real network, the restriction of f is basically just a piecewise, uh, just a fine function. And we assume that we use binary classification network. This is just for analysis and Later in empirical experiment, we show that um, in the multi-class case, our uh, analysis will also still apply. Now, the usual way to get a pro probability estimate over the prediction is by applying logistic sigmoid function on top of the output of the network. Because of that, we have a notion of confidence, which is just the maximum predictive probability over the label for any input x. Now, this is the problem. Let's focus on the left figure first. So you have a input space and have a linear regions that uh, is the domain of the piecewise affine function. And suppose we have any point x, and if we scale it with some scalar delta, let's say, at some point it will go to um, outer linear region that extends to infinity. And at this point onwards, we are basically working with just a single fine function. And because of that, we can show that the confidence in this case will converge to one when delta goes to infinity. On the right figure, we have a quantification of this um, property using the same data set from the previous slide. So we have a mean and standard deviation of the confidence over the all data point. And 
we quantify this as delta grow larger. And indeed, as delta sufficiently high, let's say delta equal to 30, the confidence already converges to one for all points. Okay, so we know the problem and we will use the same setting uh, to make our analysis. The crucial difference here is that we don't assume point estimation, but we assume now we have a Gaussian approximation over the distribution of the weights, right? So really the, the, the previous analysis is just a um, special case because we can assume that point estimate, let's say um, the map estimation actually infers just the mean of this, this distribution and not the covariant sigma. So really, the only difference here is that we have an additional structure in the form of the covariant sigma. And because we have a, a distribution, we have uncertainty in our weights, then the, the reasonable thing to do is to marginalize this to get our prediction. But integral is intractable, so we need approximation. And the use, useful one is the appropriate approximation, which arises from the linearization of the network with respect to the parameters and by approximating the sig logistic sigmoid function with another sigmoid function, which is the probit function. So this is our main result, which says that um, under some mild assumptions, far away from the train data, especially in the limit, the confidence of delta x Remember that we scale our input point with some delta. And as delta goes to infinity, we show that the confidence actually goes to something that, some quantity that does not depend on the input x. And it only depends on three things. First is the, the, the mean of the distribution mu. We can think of it as a point estimate in, 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 in the usual inference or in the usual training of the neural network. And we have J, which is some quantities. Uh, this is just a matrix that is arises from um, uh, the piecewise of fine structure induced by the point estimate mu. And now we have a new term here that depend on our Gaussian approximation, which is the minimum eigenvalue of the covariance matrix. And as we can see here, as the minimum eigenvalue of the distribution um, gets larger, then the confidence in the limit will go lower. That means that um, as we have more uncertainty in our Gaussian approximation, the confidence will be lower in the limit. Okay, so this is just a statement in the limit, but we can also have a stronger statement if we assume that uh, F has no bias parameter. So this is just a um, simplifying assumption for convenience in analysis, but in empirical experiment, we always use bias and we uh, can still observe the same uh, property. So in this case, we can show that it holds for some finite delta, not just in the limit, meaning that uh, this property is actually asymptotic, not just property in the limit. So the key ingredient here, why we can obtain this result is twofold. First, we have an additional structure in the form of covariant sigma instead of just a single point estimate mu. And secondly, if, even if we have a full distribution over the weight, if we don't use it, then it's, it's useless. So the second key factor here is really because we use marginalization to make prediction. Okay, so the previous result is applicable for um, Gaussian over the whole weight of the network. But we actually can have a special result when we assume that all layer but the last layer of the network is fixed and we assign a Gaussian over the last layer weights only. 
And in, in this case, we can also show that uh, this property, that's the same bound uh, in the limit and also asymptotically, it also holds. And the bond is similar. It only depends on mu and sigma and sigma here can be seen as a, uh, can be seen as controlling the, 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 the asymptotic conf confidence of the, the prediction. So here's the similar figure as before. Uh, on the right hand figure, we can show that the, the confidence now goes to um, close to 0 0.5 instead goes to one. This um, show that uh, uh, our, our analysis actually holds in practice. The practical implication of this is that we can have a, a simple but effective algorithm or method to overcome this overconfidence issue. So this is basically just saying that given any pre-trained map train real network, you can just apply a last layer of last approximation and use the, the marginalization let's say using uh, the profit approximation or Monte Carlo integration um, to obtain the prediction and you will have um, the, the similar benefit that has been shown in our analysis. Of course, this is nothing new, but we found it that this is sufficient for having a, um, a good performance on the mitigation of the upper confidence problem. And this is also simple and cheap and you don't need to retrain the network. And here's some experiment on quote unquote, real world binary classification data sets. So basically we have, we just pick two labels on it, that's each data set and train the network and apply a Laplace approximation on top of that, especially the last layer one. And as we can see on, on the last row of, the, of, of, of this figure, um, the last layer of Laplace uh, drives the confidence of, the, of each data set to 0 0.5 as delta uh, increases. Meanwhile, on um, point estimation, let's say uh, using map estimate and temperature scaling, they achieve confidence, confidence close to one as delta increases. And actually this property also happen, can be observed in the multi-class classification case using the standard um, image classification data set. On Cypher 10, SVH, and, and Cypher 100, we observe that the confidence also goes to um, uniform confidence, which is zero, or one point K, uh, one over K, where K is the number of labels in the data set. However, in, on MNIST, we show that it, uh, our last layer approximation does not really help. This is maybe because of the um, several factors like the, the network architecture and the loss landscape and the optimization process where it founds map estimate that is contained in, in a narrow valley such that the Laplace approximation yields really narrow Gaussian which implied by our result um, confidence close to uh, still yields high confidence in the prediction. Okay, let's summarize the, uh, this talk. We show that real network along the point estimation achieve asymptotic overconfidence. Far away from the training data, it yields confidence close to one. And we argue that additional Gaussian structure over the weights mitigate this. Any Gaussian will do, but we focus on Bayesian methods. Furthermore, we can have a simple last layer Laplace approximation that works well in practice based on our, our analysis. Thus, the conclusion here is that being a bit patient helps for mitigating this issue. Thank you very much for your attention.